What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy, the Prophet? Hey, yo, man, I'm happy. To listen, y'all. I know y'all. Be I know y'all want this tier list. All right, y'all see what the y'all y'all see what the title. Y'all know what we're gonna be looking at today. We're gonna be looking at the best PVP characters in the game tier list. So we better get it popping. I hope you're gonna do the content. I'm just make this quick. So just just, just drop my shit. Back plugged in again. All right, y'all. Like I said, man, we're going to be working on the best PvP characters in the game. Um, real quick, before I even start the list, I'm just going to kind of make this as a ground basis. Uh, range characters are not as good as melee characters in PvP based on the AI. So, we are getting some PvP balancing adjustments in a few weeks. So, I mean, after that, we'll see if anything changes. I mean... We'll see. But right now, we, we need to definitely take a look at the state of PvP. So we're going to kind of rank all the best PvP characters from uh, best to worst. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll just make the top, the first few rows kind of quicker. Now I'll break down the other units after so, more so after that. All right, so starting off with D tier, um, we're looking at White Zangetsu. 50% uh, Bruiser with the Nad Link. Weakening on his Vortex, uh, third strong attack, and his uh, first strong attack. And uh, yeah, Sorry for Killer, just a solid unit. His main thing is he's going to proc weaken because he has a 25 hit Vortex. So yeah, that's pretty much his saving grace. What's Sorry for Killer? Um, yeah, the, this Shin Sui, uh, he, he has poise and he does have uh, paralysis immunity. So those are kind of his two things. Uh, he does have 50% um, bruiser um, with the nav link as well. Nothing really too special about the guy other than the fact that he has poison process reduction. But that is worth noting a little bit. Something else worth noting is if you're using characters this low on the PvP tier list, man, you're in for a tough time. Let me tell you that. Anyway. Then we're going to move on to True Shikai Ichigo. He does have Flurry and the Spotter Killer with the normal attack damage link. However, just like I explained, for, um, range characters are not good for PvP. Basically, the reason that is is because their AI is set to be... It's set to defend themselves rather than attacking naturally. So they'll do two normal attack strings. And then if a person is like, you know, walking up towards them, they'll start flash stepping backwards. And it's like, you know, since poise, like basically all the best units in PvP have poise, you can't knock an enemy back or like with the pushback attack or anything like that. So if they're on you, they're on you. Um, so yeah, range AI is really, really wonky. Me melee AI is definitely far superior. This Orihime just on the list because she's a 20 DR link and uh, she does have a heal in her soul bomb. You know, her, her NAD string um, does lend her to be able to snatch soul bombs. Like I said, in the very low ranks of PvPR, like, there's just really no explaining it. If you're using characters that low on the PvP team, you are not going to have very much success at all. Um, Alright, so moving on to Hiyori. Uh, this Hiyori does have Flurry and a Hollow Killer. She does have Poise as well, so that's kind of her thing. We can attack, but that's really all she gets. And nothing really more to say about her is that uh, she is a melee, like, you know, she's a melee oriented character, so that kind of does work in her favor. Um,. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm um, going to be moving on, moving on to uh, third anniversary Ukiora. Um, he does have a barrier move with the boost with the second strong attack. He does have poise 
Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, he would just be a barrier and a boost kind of character. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, killer is bad. You know, it's like no, it's just his killer isn't good, and he's a frenzy character. But he does have that that ability to buff with enhancer and then uh, make a, a, a shield so that can keep you alive in some instances which in this meta right now you want to stay alive as long as possible um moving on to you a bach this like dude bro, the dude has like 30 bruiser bro like 50 berserker like yeah man <clears throat> and a captain killer so yeah, yeah, his 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 DPS is just really really bad. He is a um, a DR link, so of course that is going to help him survive. He has process on everything. When he gets a soul bomb, it turns into weakening on everything. His soul bomb is hard, pretty much. That's it. This can say is a twenty DR link with Serper Killer, fifty Bruiser, and um, paralysis reduction. So those are his real notable things for PVP, as well as having poise. Pretty much it, man. He's not going to do enough damage, really, even despite having long reach. I'm not going to do enough damage or doesn't have enough range, nor does he have any status ailments. Moving on, Mukan Aizen, he does have a star barrier. And um, basically, if you build him like a glass cannon, he can one or two shot, you know, certain people, you know, certain enemies if they don't have a shield and uh, if they don't break his shield. So basically, he can just start off. If he's like full Senkaizen build, boom, fire off that first strong attack, cross the map, maybe kill somebody, fire off the second, which won't be charged at all. And his sec I fire off the third, excuse me, which won't be charged at all. And the second is a vortex. So it's like argh, it's not gonna do anything because people have poison PvP, but he will kill some of them quicker some of than other these units. So he will kill quicker than some of these other units. That sounded weird. Alright, so then we're going to move up to B tier. We're talking about Ginrei Kuchiki. He does have Flurry and Poise with a 20 DR link. He does have Paralysis as well as Debilitator with the Hollow Killer. Um, he's ranged though, so, you know, keep that in mind. Um, like, I feel like he, he's a little bit similar to Tokinata. Like, in the fact that he's 20 DR, so if he can last long enough to where someone else dies... Range characters really shine in PvP in a 2v3 situation or, you know, where your team has the advantage and they don't because range, they're just spraying them with NAD and they don't have to run anymore because there there's a person, a melee person that's right in front of them attacking them. Like, you know, in this new meta, right? If you had, let's just say, a Hotchwalt, Tokinata, and then um, Ginray, you know what I'm saying? You, hey man, if if your Hotchwall can kill quick enough, then your Tokinata and your Gene are going to be able to reap, uh, reap some havoc. So, moving on to Nelia two, she like, and I guess I can put her over him, but to be honest, I mean. Gene Rage is going to survive way longer, but she has a, a very, very high probability of proccing weakening um, because she has weakening on everything and she has a 25 hit vortex second strong attack. So, yeah, just exactly the same as Weaken and uh, Machine Society Raruka, except she does not have a uh, flurry. But, you know, back when Noitoro was the best character that needed to be countered, she was pretty, she was pretty good, you know, in PvP. So, yeah. Um, then we're going to look at Yami, Poise, Nadlink, Flurry, with Hollow Killer, um, Burn on Everything, pretty much it. Uh, he's, you know, no DR, so he's going to get smoked out pretty quick in most cases. Pretty much, man. Yeah. Uh, this Hollow Bell is actually an interesting concept in PvP because uh, she only has a 50 bruiser. And Soul Reaper Killer meaning 75% uh, damage against Soul Reaper, or 70% damage against Soul Reapers. But she does have process immunity, and she has process on everything. Her second strong attack um, lends her to proc paralysis a little bit more often than not because of how many hits her second strong attack is broken up into. 
So she can be paralyzed, and she can paralyze on. Uh, she has a chance to paralyze on anything. So she's and she's a DR link with poise. So she's really good for just drawing out battles. Um, this Eisen does not have poise. He does have sorry for killer 80 bruiser with a nad link, which means he has 120% normal attack damage against Sorypers. So keep that in mind. Uh, a moving vortex, the same as like Kenny. Machine Society, Ruka, and Can't Fear on Word Now, yo, except he has Paralysis on his, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, no uh, no DR, no poise, so, you know, but he does have a status element with the Vortex, so that's definitely a plus. Um, Massagen, uh, this guy, like I said, he's melee, so he's gonna, he's gonna kill more efficient than the, the three behind him, um, but he doesn't have that, that, he doesn't have anything intangible, he doesn't boost, he doesn't heal, but in a straight up 1v1, he's gonna kill all three of these units faster. Um, uh, now, Sajin doesn't have DR either, so that does lend him to be a little bit more squishy, or definitely a bit more squishy. Um, I'm going to talk about these characters real quick and then I'll kind of break down a little bit one more rule uh, of the list. So this Ichigo is ahead because he does have a 20% bruiser and he does have a burn on everything except for second strong attack which is a heal move. So he's range so he's really not going to do much in PvP like I'm telling you guys range AI is definitely not the way to go in PvP. It's very awkward. Um, all of these three pretty much have the same exact kit really um just a slightly different uh, berserker with lilinette and kita but um at the end of the day they are are flurry none of they're all flurry um this ichigo dr actually so that's that's why he's actually ahead but yeah ichigo is dr if i'm not mistaken and um so is kita so yeah man uh, just going to kind of move on to those. If I misspoke, I'll correct it in the comments. But um, what I was going to say is that um, I'm actually not counting Transcendent in this list. So, you know, no characters are going to be ranked like, oh, okay, well, you should have more dupes of this character. So, you know, versus that. So I'm just going to rank it straight out. That's the most fair thing to do, even though PvP is ultimately about Transcendence. The more... You know, you can't really put a character in PvP these days unless there are at least two or three of five and with really much success. Even though, like, my Toro is only one of five, but kind of the exception. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into A tier. Heart Toshiro, who has most definitely fallen off. Um, before Jugram came out, I would say this Toshiro would have been in S tier, but with how... Uh, no, 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 no. Ju no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. But uh, this Tosh, beside people besides Jugram and besides people with Start Barrier, he can absolutely rip them apart. So um, no Barrier Pierce and no Start Barrier, and he's gonna smack you like Chad, Kenny, Raruka, um, all of them, like. Yeah, absolutely no question about it. So, yeah, that Toshiro um, definitely is a tank. And it is kind of, you know, definitely definitely shouldn't be messed with. Then we're going to uh, go ahead and move on to Vassal Lord Ichigo. He does have an innate 20% DR link. And I don't know if that's when he is facing captains or when he's, um like, when there's a captain on the field. But... He gets 20% DR when he's facing a captain. So let's just say that. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, and he does stop Brave Battle healing as well. So he was made to be kind of a. He was made to be a counter for Unahana. So keep that in mind. Um, and he does have Last Ditch. Like I said, with that built in uh, DR, 20 DR against captains. Uh, moving on to the, um, this is Deadly Society Yoroichi. She's a Nad Link. She does have 20 Bruiser with fire, with burn on everything. Uh, no, excuse me, with paralysis on everything. And uh, she has an enhanced boost. So keep that in mind that she does have, you know, enhanced boost. That's basically like the main intangible that she has, as well as the fact that she can um paralyze uh with with everything she does except for second strong attack 
All right, then we're going to be looking at um, Eternal Shunko Soyphone. She does have a crazy nad string with a um, with an Iran car killer, flurry, and enhanced boost. And uh, yeah, she does have a transformation mechanic after she uses her soul bomb, but that's that's pretty much that. Um, she is a pretty solid character though, just because the fact that you know boosting is one of the most important things in PvP. You really do need a boosting character to have any kind of significant advantage in PvP because that's what everybody else is going to have. If we all have the same characters, yet you can boost and get 33% more attack and defense and focus, you know, and we, we have all the same stuff, then, you know, you're going to be at a massive advantage. So, um, yeah, moving on. Um, yeah, back in the day when Soyphone, when uh, Noitor was the best uh, ca the best character to be countered, Soyphone would have been ranked a little bit higher. Moving on to the new Halibel. She she's a very solid unit. The only reason she she hits harder than Soyphone, but um, oh by the way, all these characters have poise in this row that I just mentioned, except for Toshiro. Um, Halibel has poise as well. Nimai does not have poise. Neither does Toki. And uh, I gotta check to see if Kido does, but I'll look at that in a second. But yeah, this Halibel um, does have poise, and uh, she does hit harder because she has a higher bruiser than um, any of the characters thus far aside from Yonoichi. Um, however, she doesn't have any type of intangible, like she doesn't have any boost or anything like that. So at the end of the day, you know, and she's not a DR link, she's a NAD link. So that just makes me wish, you know, that she would have just been like a guard break NAD character um, for PVE because, you know, yeah. But, um, yeah, but Halibel is pretty solid though. I'm like she's she's definitely solid with an Iran car killer. She does have weakening resistance, so it's like if she would have had DR with that weakened resistance, then she might be something of a soft counter to uh, Jugram. Uh, moving on to Oetsuni Maya, and he doesn't have poise, but he's melee, flurry, and he has an enhanced boost, and he has a super killer. So. You know, as long as he don't get interrupted too much and, uh, you know, he don't have DR. So, it's like, he's going to be able to kill a lot of ranged units just because when he gets up on him, he's going to be hitting him so fast. Um, and, like I say, he can bo he can boost the team. So, that is that. Uh, same with Tokinata. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can put Kidio in front of Tokinata because she has a boost and a heal. And really, a heal and a boost is massively important for staying alive these days. There are builds that you can do that require you surviving 10 seconds of the match. And uh, healing would be significant. But she is a ranged character, so sorry for killers, so keep that in mind. Yeah, so then same with Tokinata, he doesn't have any sort of DR, and he's a ranged character, but he does hit hard, and in the right circumstances being, you know, like a 2v3 or a situation where his team has the advantage, a ranged character with Flurry can really do some mega damage. So moving up to the next tier, which is S, we're going to be looking at Yashiro Unahana, the murder mom, alright? One of the best people, like this character literally held the meta for about two about a year and a half solid they couldn't make a character that could counter her perfectly um whereas now okay like they're just breaking the game all right so she does have a heal on her second strong attack and a heal on her soul bomb now with the com combination of transcendence the more dupes of retsu you have the more you heal when she gets her soul bomb um and she does she does have a chance to insta kill on her soul bomb as well so keep that in mind like i said when she heals or with with dupes at first she can basically heal for full health like the whole team heals for full health which is completely broken um, if there is a way for her to get the soul bomb a little bit more frequently, I could see her being a little bit higher. Um, next, moving on to Shusuke Amagai. And uh, a lot of you guys might be wondering, like, you know, you see Pot Ken, you see Shusuke Amagai right here, and you're like, what the hell, D? Like, what are you talking about? Um, Shusuke does have the ability to um, give 20% more normal attack damage to a mind soul reaper killer. I mean, to a mind soul reaper, um, which there's no other mind soul reapers that are currently in the meta, which that... You know, like it pretty much is what it is. But, um, but yeah, I'm a guy has burn on everything, and just like I said, bruiser, 
he's basically like Captain Killer. So he's basically like one arm Yamamoto, just mind attribute with 20% bruiser, and then he can pass on that 20% Nash, the sword bruise out of mind, but that's not really in use right now. Um, Potkin, yeah, yeah, okay. I can understand people being like, damn, like, why the hell is he so hot? Um, he don't have no bruiser, or he don't have no status element D, but he does have a 40% Berserker with an Arankar killer. Um, so he hits very hard, and he's a DR, and he has paralysis uh, resistance. So that does lend him to be, uh, I mean, it, survive, it lends him to survive a long time, and he can, he basically made to counter Notora. So keep that in mind, you know, Notora was like the best character in the game for PvP just a little bit ago, you know, obviously Ichibei, but still. Um, yeah, so then we're going to go into one Arm Yamamoto, Captain Killer, Burn on Everything, DR, Poise, Flurry, same as all the other people, most of the people thus far. Pretty much self-explanatory. No bruiser, though. Um, yeah. Uh, Grimjob, 20 DR. Okay. He has a 40% bruiser and super killer. Like, this guy is absolutely insane. He's he's absolutely insane. The only reason that he's, like, not higher, higher is because he don't have no type of status element. And he don't have no type of um, team you know, uh, synergy, you know what I mean, so, yeah, but, um, he's, he's really good, he's a character, he can really much outlast a lot of characters, because no other character thus far has a 20 DR link on this list, so keep that in mind, all right, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our final tier, um, this isn't the final tier, y'all know it's not the final tier, it's okay, though. um, Ichibei Yusubi was the best character in the game for a long time, um, weakening on everything, he does have a bruiser and um, start barrier, pierce barrier with a um, a spot of killer. And uh, yeah, man, we like I said, weakening on everything, pierce barrier. I mean, he's, he's literally made to, to counter no tour, so like I said, keep that in mind. And um, yeah. Yeah, the fact that he is speed attribute is very handy, okay? Very handy. Next, we're going to be talking about Chad, and he got bumped up recently because he's a speed attribute. So, yeah, being speed attribute right now is very good in the meta, all right? It's very good, okay? Being technique, you got bumped down a bit, all right? that in mind okay so yeah uh chad boost definitely is one of his biggest intangibles with enhancement paralysis but no debilitator dr no one's gonna have killer against him um he has high defense as well and defense is a very key stat in this meta <laughs> moving on to notori gilga process on everything um enhanced boost of transformation captain killer start barrier absolute mad lad tank like I said, most PvP skills are going to be Poise, Flurry, DR, some type of debilitating status ailment, and then the bonus ones are Start Barrier, Pierce Barrier, and then the stuff we'll talk about later. <laughs> so Raruka and Kenpachi both have the exact same kit, essentially. Um, lunging first, moving vortex second, and then a full screen, some sort of full screen third with weakening on everything. Ruka just has a higher bruiser, being 20%, and she has a hollow killer, which probably is never going to be really relevant in PvP, but she does have a base 20% bruiser, which most of these characters have a captain killer or some type of killer that's very niche, so they get it a lot less often than she just gets that 20 bruiser, which is always. Um, yeah, so she's higher than Kenny because no one has her killer. She has the same thing. She does the same things he does, except she's, you know, not proud on, not preyed on as much because no one has her killer really. So keep that in mind. Um, same thing with Kenny, Captain Killer, no Bruiser, um, Vortex Second, weakening on everything. That's how he lasts is by weakening people with Debilitator. All these units, every single one of them are uh, 16 DR links. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah. And um, ask an uh the debuff ab uh, ability. Excuse me, I want to say de debuff immunity, but uh, like I combine that with ability. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so he has the debuff skill. And um, yeah, it's the exact opposite as a boost. So if you have him to debuff and then you have a buff on your team, then you're really tipping the scales in your favor. Now, we're just going to um, you know, you know, go to our next category. Drift to a B. The balance. Wagami no fun wa saranaru fun to shite omae ni furi sosoru. The broken. Like, listen, y'all. This man is literally a tier and a half. Like, he, he's he's a whole tier by himself. Like, nobody is on the level of this character, bro. Brave, this character is invincible for the first 10 seconds of the match, and then after that, uh, well, he counters damage and inflicted against him. So, if you're hitting him for very high attack numbers, then he's reflecting high attack numbers right back at you. And if it's the first 10 seconds, he's not even taking any damage. So, yeah, from what I understand, even after the first 10 seconds, he still reflects that damage on you. But, obviously, you know, he takes damage as well. So, you know, you're going to be hitting him way harder than he's going to be reflecting damage. So, basically, the whole strategy to beating Hotchwald is to try and survive. That's really all you can do. He has the same amount of DR as everybody. He does have weakening. But, the only thing that he doesn't have is that um, he does not have Debilitator. Which means if he weakens you, you're only weakened for 2 seconds. Unless it's a Soul Bomb, you're weakened for 5 seconds. So, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, absolutely broken the fact that he can weaken on everything. Um, and his Soul Bomb, or his first strong attack lends him to snatch Soul Bombs. And, um, yeah, he's absolutely broken, 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 broken. There's nothing on his current level as far as PvP. The only thing that you can really do is really try and put as high defense as you can. And even going so far as not having as high attack. Because the higher your attack is that first 10 seconds, he is reflecting that back at you. So you just want to have a high ass defense. Chad and Ichibe will work together in the team these days. Um... Yeah, and then after that, man, Askin really gets nagged by him bad because he's going to pop his debuff the first 10 seconds for sure. Um, yeah, so, I mean, maybe after the 10 seconds is over, if you have an Askin on the floor, then he'll still be able to get debuffed. But he for sure, can't. while that Brave Bout Invincibility is going, he can't be debuffed at all or no status segments can be proc'd against him. So, really, there's no true counter. All you can do is hope to stall him out. I will say that since the builds with him vary, a lot of people are going normal attack. A lot of people go full stamina damage since they're just counting on him ripping you up in that first 10 seconds. After that 10 seconds over, he has a massive weak point depending on the build. But if there's a 5 of 5 max transcended Jugram, kiss your butt goodbye. But this has been the best tier list for pvp of the current meta and bleach brave souls right now as i said we do have pvp rebalancing coming up soon but we'll see if that even does anything to the meta but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video man don't forget to like share, subscribe profanation i do love y'all till next time I'm out.